Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. You know what? People need to smile on their face. You know, they just, you know, the, 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 the lockdown, the sheltering in place. Somebody's got to entertain you. And, well, thank goodness for random people. And this this one random person, uh, what she did is she set up a karaoke machine in her driveway. And she thought, you know what, neighborhood, you need this. As she gave her rendition of Young MC's Bust a Move. This is a tale for all the fellas trying to do what those ladies tell us. Get shot, baby. Get all the stuff. Let's play rock. Dude, I'm sorry. That would be the greatest neighbor ever. Like, because I'm watching the video and it's straight across the street from whoever filmed this. And there's this woman just like <laughs> in these bright, looks like orange pants with cowboy boots on. Yep. And with like a crappy little speaker just singing along to her phone with the lyrics and dancing. That's really funny. <laughs> That's amazing. Sometimes a pandemic hits people in different ways, and it hit her in the right way. Right. Yeah, it sure did. Oh, yeah? She's got some moves. I mean... I'll give it to her. She's moving. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> But this gets me thinking about like like that's a great song to sing at a karaoke place. Like yeah. you know, you know I mean, there's certain hip hop songs. Granted, we're a rock station, but I think there's certain hip hop songs that just transcend that genre where it's like, oh, yeah. if you're at a karaoke bar and someone does bust a move. I think everybody's feeling it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Or so, Gangsters Paradise. Yeah. Yep. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby got back. Baby yep. got back. Yeah. The minute the oh, do, of course. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Or oh, or yeah. Vanilla Ice is Ice Ice Baby. Of course. Oh yes. Uh, you know, don't forget, uh, go ninja, go ninja, go. Oh, ninja oh, yeah. rap. <laughs> Gotta do you the know, ninja rap. If, BJ, if you were at a karaoke bar and, and all of a sudden the, the ninja rap song goes on the, the karaoke machine, I would not leave the bar. No, yeah. me either. And oh, I, you've got, yeah. You and, if, do it. and if I didn't know you, I'd buy you all the shots. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Absolutely. If you're singing yeah. that song, you've probably already had all the shots. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It is, uh, Good point. <laughs> it is the second greatest vanilla, vanilla ice song. Uh, that's for sure. It might be the only, uh, that's it, the only two, really. You know what's one? I, I don't know if you guys remember this one. It, was kind of, it wasn't a huge hit, but I loved the, the Ski Low song. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish it sometimes a some caller. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that sounds like uh, uh, that sounds familiar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys can sing that. I always love when someone tries to get a little bit too ambitious and they do like like Eminem. Yeah, no. and then oh. you're just like, okay, you're drunk, slurring yeah. your words. Eminem's kind of known for like cramming a billion words within like five seconds. Good that used luck. to that used to be the thing like at school dances because like the real Slim Shady had just yep. come out, and I remember that they would put that song on and they would like hand out the microphone to like middle all, like all of my middle school friends, and we try to do the, all the words to it. And it came out terrible. One texter says, dude, rapper's delight. Oh, that would be awesome. Good That's luck. a long yeah. song, though. Good luck with that one. <laughs> That's hard. Yeah. yeah. What about No Diggity, someone said? Ooh. Ooh. I like Ooh. the way you work it. No, no Scrubs. Diggity. 
Oh, yeah. no scrubs, yes. Got to no scrubs. Yeah. <laughs> WAP. I mean, <laughs> oh, well, yeah. is, that, uh, is that your anthem there, buddy? Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> if I, you got me drunk enough, I might be up for doing that. Okay, oh, once, really? Once we're out of quarantine yeah. and we can go back to bars, we are doing it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I've done some really interesting karaoke songs, uh, including the Bloodhound Gang and uh, not the Bad Touch, but the Ballad of Chasey Lane, which oh, is... Um, she had a nice run for bits. Had yeah. a nice run for bits. Yeah, yeah. Doing that in a, in a full bar is uh, an interesting experience. Yeah, because there's a part where like the the song goes, "Dear Chasey Lane, I must confess, I'm your biggest fan." And it's in, like something about eating a certain body part. Yeah, yep. yeah, you, you don't do that in front of. Oh, oh, you don't do that at a karaoke bar. I mean, you, you do. do. Yeah. What about, <laughs> okay. What about the Humpty Dance? Oh no! Nice. Oh, yeah. 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 Do me, baby. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, there's so many. There, there's so many good ones. You know, I mean, we look, we we got an entire evening planned just like that. One texture says the Beastie Boys fight for you, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's just, yeah. you know, yeah. that's 11 o'clock at night. Everyone's wasted. Everyone's singing along. Oh, totally. Well, Steve, I expect you to set up your karaoke machine and do it in your in your driveway tonight. All right, step one, I need a karaoke machine. <laughs> I think I have a broken one in my house I can fix up for you. I was going to keep it broken. I think my neighbors would appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, this Steve guy's been quiet this whole time. Now, all of a sudden, he's doing rapping and karaoke outside of his house. Yeah. I mean, really, all you need is a Bluetooth speaker, don't you? Because, I mean, yeah. they're, they're now online, there's just, you know, you can you You're right. get whatever you need. Oh, how about This Is How We Do It, Montel Jordan. This, this is, is how, how we do, we do it. it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. My Pony by Genuine. Oh, that seems too naughty. No, you got to do that, and you got to do the Wait. whole, uh, was it, Magic Mike dance along with it. I don't know that dance, but I'm in. It's, it's, <laughs> it's sexy. Maybe not when you do it, but it is sexy. <laughs> I don't really know My Pony, but is it is it naughtier than WAP? No, but no. it's... <laughs> She's like, I'll do WAP, but I won't do my pony. I mean, yeah, you right. ride it like a pony kind of a thing. Is like, oh, yeah, that's you. you did, spoiler alert, that. that's what the song's about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a little different. I mean, granted, we're in the same neighborhood, <laughs> but I feel like, uh, you know what? You can do both, Steve. Why don't, why don't you do a double header, a twofer? Yeah, he's, I mean, he's just a bachelor and he's looking for a partner, someone who knows how to ride without even falling off. Oh. And then if you're horny, you should do it with him. Ride it. My pony. Oh, all right. His pony, yeah. His my pony. saddle's waiting. I mean, it's cool that, you know, people want to ride horses and yeah, stuff. Horses yeah, horses are fun. Well, yeah. you yeah, got to watch know. Magic Mike because the whole scene of the song is fantastic. Okay, I'm, I'm going to skip that because I think it's about <laughs> naked guys, right? Guys, just basically exotic he, dancer guys. This yeah. is the most Magic Mike I've ever watched, Vicky, right now. Yes. That you're showing yeah. me. It's, magic, it's uh, Channing Tatum, like weldings and stuff, and the song comes on and he decides to start dancing. I yeah. hear that, that movie's actually kind of fun, though. It, it is actually fun. It's, it's yeah. There's a lot of funny moments. Kevin Nash probably won't watch it. it. Oh, yeah? You're not going to watch it this week. I'm weekend? not going to watch it anyway. I, I mean, like but, how, you know, I, I heard it's good, but, you know, again, what am I doing? I do like how Vicky's still showing us the video, like, if we're <laughs> yeah, going to show it. Like, I, I really don't dance. need to see it anymore, Vic. Thanks. I like, mean, you don't have to watch it. I'm I get just going Well, right uh, yeah, you could just shut it off, too. I get that. I don't know. How does he do that on the table? Yeah, that's, I don't care. I really don't. Oh, okay. That was impressive. Right? He got moved. Yeah. You know, isn't there, like, is there somebody from HR I can talk to? Because I really don't want to see this anymore. No. Oh, how about Biz Marquee? He got what I need. Say he's just oh, a friend. <laughs> I don't know how it goes. Ooh, baby, you. Thank you. You got okay. what I need. I don't, this is Steve what know I how need. It goes? That, that's exactly how this it goes. This is how it goes, oh. yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. I think I want to watch Magic Mike again. Okay, <laughs> fair. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we got a, a couple of social media influence, the influencers that got arrested for bailing on an $18,000 bar tab. Steve will tell you about these lovely individuals at 617 with the Migs Report. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. $20 million, $19 million, 
six million dollars. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too big to fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1 800 Justice or visit justiceforyou.com. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. 99.9 99.9 KISW, the rock of Seattle. An Odyssey station. Odyssey. That's right. I don't know if you know, but uh, everything is Odyssey right now. All right, look at your arm. That's Odyssey. <laughs> Sorry, it just happened. Huh? Crazy. Yeah. It is. Well, anyway, I mean, look, your radio.com has changed to, changed to Odyssey. We're an Odyssey station. Uh, so if you had the radio.com app, you probably noticed, hey, there's an orange and white logo. What's that? Oh, that's Odyssey. Uh, if you don't have the Odyssey app, get it, because that's where you can listen to KISW, plus all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that move you, baby. And how do you spell this? It's simple. A-U-D-A-C-Y. Come on, weird. That's how we spelled it as kids, right? Odyssey. All right. Uh, yeah. So check out the Odyssey app and all of your favorite app stores. A-U-D-A-C-Y. Well-informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Nope. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. Well, thanks, you guys. Thanks to Kia Up You Off for giving us the Migs Report. And today, a very special day, especially for you, Danny V. Today is National Beer Day, so enjoy some beer. Yes! Oh, there you go. Apparently, it was today, back in 1933, that marked the beginning of the end Ooh. of Prohibition. Oh, what a great day for beer day. So this was yep. it. And that's when uh, President uh, Roosevelt made his famous remark, I think this would be a good time for a beer. Agreed. So decided that it's international or national beer day. It's international beaver day. So drink a beer and enjoy some beaver. Yeah. <laughs> Beavers. <laughs> All right. One of the one of the dumbest things I think that they ever did during that time, because it was a mess to be alive with all the stuff going on. And they're like, hey, no alcohol for everybody. So deal with life. <laughs> <laughs> you say dumbest. I, I've got a story about two of the dumbest people. And I think they enjoyed way too many beers because they raked up a, a bar tab of eighteen thousand dollars and decided to bail on that tab to dine. Well, drink and dash. Wow. Apparently, these are twins. Their names are Jacob and Jared, they live in Nashville, and they consider themselves, and I, I'm going to try not to puke in my own mouth when I say this, social media influencers. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I Here's know. the problem. You go to their social media pages, they've got like 2,000 followers. It's like, well, you, 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 maybe one day you'll get to be social media influencers, but I don't know if you're really there yet. You're not influencing that many people. Wow. Well, they decided to throw a big party where they so, invited celebrities to come out and have a good time. Where you don't have to feel any pressure. You can just hang out with us, some A-list social media <laughs> influencers. Okay. And they raked up on Sunday morning, Saturday night, $17,874 tab over at uh, D- was it Dirk or Dirk Bentley? Dirk? Dirk's. Oh, with oh yeah, Dirk's Bentley. Yeah, it's Dirk's. Yeah. Dirk's Bentley's Whiskey Row. Uh-huh. It was their 24th birthday celebration. And 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 they so they had people show up or did they just drink all this themselves? Yeah, I didn't get any notice of like any big name celebrities that showed up. I'm sure other just random people showed up. Maybe other social media influencers showed up and hung out with them. Here's the best part: so they get arrested, they get in trouble for this, and they're like, "This is great. More people will get to find out about us, thus making us social media." Influencers. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's because that, yeah. they were excited to get some media coverage of their arrest, and I guess I helped them. Sorry. But who the hell would want them to influence anything that they've got? They're idiots. They're, they're definitely idiots. I mean, yeah, but in the, if you're an influencer, that's the idea is that, you know what, oh, they're influencing a lot of people. But these guys are, they're morons. <laughs> they're social media morons. Yeah, there we go. That's the right title. What? Uh, yeah, I, dude, I don't know. Uh, I, I, yeah. But you know what? If they said, hey, come to this bar, 
we're paying for all the drinks, I'd probably show up. Done. See, that's the key. You're absolutely right. You right. don't care who they are if they're giving you free drinks. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm finally ordering that $750 shot of whiskey that I've always wanted. Is that what it wow. is? There's Oh, yeah. There's so many out there that are just ridiculous prices. Man, that thing better give me a back rub for that kind of cash. You would think. <laughs> okay, you know what? You you really have light expectations, Steve, because I want more than a back rub from that thing of whiskey. <laughs> I'm keeping it PG, BJ. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I might need a shot of whiskey, maybe two, or a beer as well, just to cope with the Mariners losing once again. They got uh, spanked 10 to 4. No. But the big story was uh, Paxton, James Paxton. And Big Maple. He had to leave in the second inning due to an injury to his elbow after only 24 pitches. Looked oh pretty boy. pissed off leaving. So I hope it's nothing awful. Uh. But that's never a good sign when a pitcher has an elbow issue. No, it's not. And uh, we were really counting on him to be the X Factor. This is not good. Yeah. Well, that X Factor might be gone. But they play again today at 1 p.m. So maybe they won't lose to the Chicago yeah. White Sox. Whoops. A question for you, Danny. Because I go online every yes. morning. I'm like, okay, I'm going to give the Mariners score. I knew that the Sounders played against the Junior Varsity Galaxy team from L.A. or Galaxy 2. Yeah, friendly. In a friendly. So I'm like, I wonder how the Sounders did. I go to their page. I click, click on what I usually do to get the scores. And all it says is match score only shown at full time. So did the score not even count in this friendly? No. Well, what happened? Who I won. I honestly don't even know. I didn't actually end up watching the, the, <laughs> the game. BJ, I go on social I don't media. Understand. I spent way too much time on this, and finally, I just hit the point where I'm like, "Why do I care about a stupid friendly against like their minor league team?" Yeah, you shouldn't. But I, I was now I wanted like some I had resolution issues, so I'm like, "Oh, Danny will know." Of course, now Danny doesn't even I know. Don't know. The, you you click on like a Google search, and there's no information about the score other than match score only shown at full time. You know what, Steve? You uh, you and I are from the old school of um, there should be a score, right? There and needs to like, be yeah. that. Oh, listen, they're just out there kicking a ball. Who cares? <laughs> it's a, this isn't like a four-year little kickers program. I mean, you need to know who won a game, right? <laughs> well, maybe, maybe that's what it's turning into. There's no winners here. Here's your juice box, everybody. Oh, BJ, you're gonna love this story. Uh, you know, Houston man, Houston Astros manager Dusty Baker. Of course, him and the Astros are catching a lot of flack because they're quote unquote cheaters. Well, yes, I mean they are cheaters, uh, and so a lot of fans have been heckling them to the point where some fans are at the ballpark, I guess when they were playing like the, the the Dodgers and other teams as well, but they're showing up with inflatable g- garbage cans. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> to mock the fact that they were banging on a can as that was the way that they were cheating. And I guess even Baker said, yeah, I get it. I, I kind of get um, I get the abuse towards our, the players when it comes to like that kind of stuff. But at some point, he finally got annoyed with all the heckling and said, you know, you're all a bunch of hypocrites. Basically saying, why are you all giving us a hard time for quote-unquote cheating when you probably have cheated at some point in life as well. Okay, Jeez. Dusty. Okay. Right? It's like, how many in the stands have never done anything wrong in their life? We paid the price for it. How many people have not cheated on a test or whatever at some point in time? I mean, oh, it's boy. easy if you live in a glass house, but I don't think anybody lives in glass houses. Wow. And, and, and ironically, Dusty was not part of that because he was the guy they hired after they fired AJ what's his face because he was the manager at the time yeah he's sick of it he doesn't care if he's not AJ what's his face or not he's just like that's it I'm done with it you hypocrites but I mean cheating on a test is a little bit different than cheating on a sport where it's multi million dollars are going you know on. what what I, I love know. about what I love about this is that I don't you know I wonder if Alex Cora who's the he's the dude that actually banged on the barrel he was the he was the one transmitting the signals and now manages the Red Sox I wonder if he's skating and nobody's giving him a hard time at all and the and, and the Astros a lot of those players weren't even there because yeah. teams turn over I mean it is quite hysterical that people are taking a beating that didn't even do anything I do love that they're bringing inflatable garbage cans to the games I think that's, that's a hilarious. great idea we should I hopefully say uh, hopefully you know team Mobile's like, yeah, here's your free garbage can to blow up when the Astros come to town. That'd be the best giveaway ever. A little update in the world of the Seattle Seahawks. Very excited. You know, Carlos Dunlap got brought back to the team. I, I nice. think a lot of Seahawks would agree in that that was a huge uh, pickup to get him to come back. Uh, and he did a big press conference talking about how much he loves Seattle. He didn't want to leave. One of the things I thought was funny in his press conference, he talked about how he really is excited to come back because he hears there's good restaurants here and he didn't get to enjoy them last season because of the pandemic. So <laughs> part of what makes him happy is that he's coming back to a place that has some good food because he's a restaurant owner. I guess in his hometown so that's kind of oh, funny oh so he's going to get some good ideas or some good joints and he also brought up the fact during the, the, the press conference that he's had the same cell phone and the same phone number since the 8th grade and he has like 600 some unread messages still wait 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 wait. so is it the same cell phone and, and too? the same Somebody? number not oh, the, the same, same cell number. phone but the same oh. cell phone number oh well let me think um, since 8th grade Wow. I know I've had my same cell phone number since I had one, which is over 20 years. I changed mine. I was like about 
12 or so years ago. I was just like, after a while, I had too many people that were bugging me. <laughs> like people, oh, I, wow. I, I know, like some okay. people are just like they. And I was like, ah, you know what? It's time just to freshen things up. I would have oh, been yeah. the same, but I updated when I moved here. Tab yeah. two hundred six, as opposed to not. Oh, good for you, Danny. But he did also talk about Russell Wilson because some people were like, hey, was that a big part of like you wanting to resign? Is he still the on the team? team? Russell Wilson <laughs> is oh. still on the team. Oh, okay. In cool. fact, Carlos Dunlap during the press conference confirmed it. I did ask him if obviously he was going to be with us because. If I'm coming back, I'm coming back because I see him as my quarterback and the rest of the team. I want to pick up where we left off. And he told me that he's he's with us and he's here to stay. And he said, you know, let's go Hawks. Go Hawks. <laughs> I think he said it that way. You go Hawks. Yeah, he also said, I'm saying. paraphrasing, but that's pretty much what he said. Yeah. I like that he ended it with, and he said, go Hawks. Yeah. Go well, Hawks. Dude, which is pretty hysterical because you think that's how Russell Wilson ends every conversation. Yes. Yes. Every time you're talking to him, hey, Russell, do you need any milk at the store? No, go Hawks. He's talking to his mom. <laughs> like, hey, happy Mother's Day, Mom. It's been good. All right, I got to go. It's good talking to you. Go Hawks. <laughs> You don't think, um, you know, after he has, like, a wonderful time with Ciara that, Absolutely. you know, it's like, you know, it really... Oh, dude, you don't yeah. think that voice comes out? Oh, like, oh. Go Hawks. Yeah, that's... Okay. Go Hawks. Oh, wow. He, he probably right. makes her say it, too. Like, just, hey. I think she's saying... Hey, that's there it. it yeah, there it is. Go. Yeah, that's the one. You think they're just in the throes of passion, all this thing, and back and forth, they're just like... Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I really do. Well, good. I'm glad we got to the bottom of this today. And the mix report, as far as weather, it's going to be 46 degrees. We have some rain. Thanks to Advanced Hair Restoration for giving us the mix report. And that's what's up. Go Hawks. That's it. Uh, yesterday, Steve, he did get this one right. Which automaker makes the Fusion and Taurus? Ford. Yes. She can bring it back Hummers? The what? Electronic Hummers. What? Are you Hummers? Ridiculous, man. It blew my mind this morning. Sorry, we'll, t- we'll oh, talk oh, about that later. Okay, okay. Wow, that was a shiny object. <laughs> Literally, because the Hummer is a big, shiny object. And we know Ford doesn't make Hummers. Don't be giving us a hard time about that. Go, uh, go Thank you, Russell. You want a shot at beating Steve? You got it. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Mix at 647 on The Rock. Today's podcast is brought to you by bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagne, who's ready to answer your questions about bankruptcy. Travis, is it true that if you file for bankruptcy once, you can't file again? Even if you filed bankruptcy before, you can almost certainly file bankruptcy again. Different types of bankruptcies have different time limits between filings. In Chapter 7, full bankruptcy, you can only file Chapter 7 once every eight years. However, you can always, almost always file a Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 cases can be filed uh, immediately following a Chapter 7. They can be filed immediately following a prior Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 is a reorganization plan, so there will be some type of monthly payment, but it's based on your budget and your ability to afford that payment. So Chapter 13 is an option in almost all cases, uh, even with a prior bankruptcy filing. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening.